Hello, this is Brian Cummings. I am the technical artist at Unknown Worlds Entertainment, and today I am making a new video for my new video series for tutorials for helping people with mods. Um, this particular video is going to explain how to basically just set up your own mod and then publish it to the Steam Workshop. And in future videos, I do intend to go into more information about how to use the source model files um, for all of the uh, art that uh, has been posted and um, specifically how do you set up your own rigs and animations and all that fun stuff and that way you can get your own custom models and animations into your own natural section 2 mods um, for most of these examples I will be using uh, Gorge Race as a platform for describing these steps. Um, Gorge Race is a mod that I started recently and you can find it on the Steam Workshop and we'll uh, be looking at it as as we go. Um, so yeah, let's get started and just show you the steps to getting basically the steps that I took to get Gorge Race published. So, first thing I did is created a source file on my desktop called Gorge Race Source is what I call it. And then we also want an output folder called Gorge Race um, also on the desktop. Um, if you look at Gorge Race Source, inside of it it has a map source and then it has the level that I have uh, for Gorge Race, because currently Gorge Race is just a level. Uh, soon we'll be adding new models and animations and hopefully new uh, Lua game code. And that's basically all that's in there right now though, is just a map. And we can go ahead and ignore this folder, what's in there right now, because what we're going to do is automatically generate those using Builder. So the way to get Builder set up and the way to get your mod set up is you're going to need to go to your Natural Selection 2 um, folder in your Steam apps, Common Natural Selection 2. Um, of course you need to have purchased the game and downloaded it in order to see this, but uh, and you should be able to find the Launchpad application and run that. And in the Launchpad application we can um, create a new mod. And so we'll go ahead and create a new mod here. Um, here you would put in the name like tests which I just obviously just had open. <laughs> uh, and then output directory. And for your output directory you want to put your folder, not your source folder, but the other folder that you made for this mod. Um, so we'll select that. Select what kind, game, and hit OK. And then you see how it made a new uh, thing on the pull drop down here. Uh, I already have Gorge Race, which is this one. And it's basically the same thing, it just has a different name. And it's using the same output folder. So, next thing you want to do is set up Builder. So with Launchpad open, let's go ahead and run Builder. And then we want to load the setup. Um, again, it's in the Steam Apps Common Natural Selection 2 folder. You'll find Builder underscore Setup. I'll open that. And then we're going to want to change our settings here. And change the source directory to the Gortray source file here. Um, and your output directory is already set automatically here and we'll hit OK. So now we have builder set up and we can go ahead and just run build and it will it's our automatically complete. Let's just rebuild because it'll build everything. Um, if it, the files were already built, so it didn't it didn't actually build anything when I selected that. But 
if uh, you had new files, then you would just hit build and it would create those. Um, I went ahead and executed those correctly. And then we'll go ahead and check Gorge Race Maps. And at this point, I will see my map here in my output folder. Sweet. All right, so now, once that's set up, um, we've built the level. We can go ahead and check out Publisher. And here in Publisher, we will have a title, Gorge Race. And the tags here will automatically be generated based on what is currently in the output folder. Right now I only have a level, so it just has a level. But if I had models or cinematics or anything like that, they would also be tagged. Uh, and then you, of course, would enter a description and uh, exclamation points always help. You can change the kind of game it is here. You can even set which build is required. That's currently not necessary now. And we can select an image from my desktop. I have. I think I already have a preview. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think it's having some issues right now, but um, essentially you you can use the default image or select a new image through that, and that should work. Um, then you want to select your visibility to public, and as soon as you hit publish, it will actually publish this to the Steam Workshop, and since I don't want to overwrite what I already have, I'm not going to do that right now, but um, once you've hit publish all, it should create a new mod with the title Gorge Race and description and that's basically what you would do. Um, that is that. Alright, so now we'll just go ahead and just check it out on the workshop here. So I'm going to run Steam and we don't need, what do we got here? I just like looking at Natural Section 2 up here. Oh my god, it's not up there anymore. Oh, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, okay, so let's check out an actual Selection 2 and then browse the workshop. And we'll see a list of mods. Um, here is Sabahel's Infestation Redo. We've got uh, some Gunslinger Overhaul for all the marines. He's got some cool stuff. Um, Mystic Syst mod, that looks cool. Uh, and here's Gorge Race right here. So we'll just go ahead and open that. And now we see that uh, Gorge Race is here. He's got the description. Um, this is the actual description that I put in. Uh, you see that I've selfishly, positively rated it for myself should already be subscribed but I'll click it again and you can see all the comments and all that fun stuff so that's basically how you publish your mod and you can uh, edit it through your steam community forum uh, um, sorry your steam window here and you can change the visibility if you don't want it to be public anymore just delete it outright if you don't like it um, every time that you create a new mod it'll create a new ID for it but once you have your ID for your mod you're gonna wanna just continue to use the publisher to publish updates and if you for any reason unpublish it you will then no longer be able to publish under that particular um, title anymore so just be careful with that okay that's it for this video and in the next video, what I want to do is go over how to create your own custom animated prop. And uh, I'm going to be using it for the Gorge Race. I'm going to have a start um, start thing blocking the entrance, and it'll go down uh, when I want the race to start. And then it'll come back up for a few minutes and then go down again for the next wave to start. And uh, that should be really easy to set up. and for me at least, and <laughs> we'll see uh, if I can do a good tutorial for that. 
all right thank you for listening and have a good one